what you can see on my screen right now is my Kaggle home page okay so some of you were requesting me to create video on Kaggle like how Kaggle works what is Kaggle how to participate in competition how to use the Kaggle notebook we will discuss all these topics one by one in this video so this video is going to be very important if you are starting learning data science or if you want to participate in Kaggle competitions and earn some money as well right so let's start the discussion welcome to unfold data science my name is Aman and I am a data scientist so this is the Kaggle home page guys now as you can see here I have created my account three years back right so I am not actually very active from this account I am active from my other account hence it's showing as novice as my uh, what do you say level okay and then you can see on the left hand side I have many menus okay so this is the home now let me go to the compete okay so when I go to compete as I told you Kaggle is a platform for data science competitions basically so many companies many organizations will put their data here in the form of competitions and people from all over the world will compete so they can be a data scientist they can be a data analyst all kinds of people right so what it says is grow your data science skill by competing in our existing competitions right so as you can see here in the competitions right so we have active closed pinned and hosted so let me go to one of the active competitions for example if i go to first one right active not entered so you can see our iid answer correctness prediction so this is an active competition so as you can see here the prize money for this competition is nearly 100k us dollar so this is huge money right now what is this competition guys so if you come here and see you will get many details about this competition right so you can see the overview then you will have the data then you will have the different notebooks so now this competition has not started so many notebooks will come once it starts right then it will come discussion leaderboard and rules right so all these things we will see one by one so in overview you will have everything about this competition like what is this challenge some context right and what is this data about then comes the evaluation so in evaluation it will tell you how the evaluation will be done so as you can see here submissions are evaluated on area under the curve so on the basis of ROC curve the evaluation will be done for this competition right submission file in what form you will submit your output right so it says you must make submission directly from Kaggle kernels I will talk about kernels later by adding your teammates as a collaborator on a kernel you can share and edit copy privately with them right so this is how you can submit your file when you train a model this is how you can you know uh, submit your output then you come here and see timelines for this competition as you can see December 31st 2020 is the entry deadline so before this you should enter team merger deadline before this date and January 7 is the submission deadline for this particular competition right what are the prizes so as you saw the first prize is 50k USD second is 30k and then if you sum all these things right it will become 100k so that is where 100k was the amount for this right what are the code requirements for this competition if you go here then there are certain criteria which your code must follow for example in CPU it should take less than 9 hours in GPU it should take less than 2 hours and other you know uh, criteria for this competition suppose I want to participate in this competition right so how do I do this there is a join competition button here I will go here it will ask me certain uh, uh, things to accept I understand and accept the policies and those things I will say I, I understand you have accepted the rules and now I should be able to submit my submissions right I should be able to create a notebook I should be able to submit my uh, findings submit my output right this is this we are seeing about one competition which is not completed yet okay so which is you know future competition not entered let us see some of the completed competition so if I come here in the completed so let us see Google landmark recognition 2020 so this is one completed uh, competition right so if you come here same format you will see description evaluation timeline price code requirements all these things you will see data so in this data you will see many files so there also you can see the files in our previous example so th these are your test data this is your train data so in the data you will see how many files are there 
how many columns are there so everything about the data if i click on download all it will download all the data files for me and then i can either work on kaggle itself or i can work on my local and submit as well okay there is another important thing here called notebook so if you come to notebook you will see what all people have worked on this particular competition for example if you see this person two months ago he or she has submitted a notebook so we can directly go and view the notebook that is one very good thing about kaggle so if you come here we will be able to see other person's notebook right so what has been done on the same data so this gives you immense learning opportunity where you can be able to see what can be done on a particular data right so this data this person has solved in one way the other person might have solved in some other way so this is how different different notebooks you can see and many things you can learn right how different data scientists think how different data scientists do the feature engineering many things right many things can be learned from different different notebooks what else is there discussion forum is there so you can come here and do some of the discussions on what is this competition about how people are approaching then there comes the leaderboard the meaning of leaderboard is uh, who are the people who are topping in this competition so leaderboard will keep changing based on how good model you can create or how good model you can train right so as you can see now the first position is of this person pd then comes this person best fitting so this is just some names these guys put right and what is their accuracy score how many entries they have made i mean how many times they have tried to submit right you can you can submit one uh, finding one report one uh, prediction of your model and then you can fine tune your model and submit it again so this person has done that thing 159 times and then the person is coming on first position okay this is private leaderboard this is public leaderboard the difference is between the size of the test data on which the accuracy is measured okay so these are the things then there are some of the rules for this competition so these are some of the rules right so these things you can go through right so this is about the competition part now if you come to data data tab i am going to there are many many data sets available here right for example if you come here huge stock market data set right so huge stock market data set will be a data set on which you can practice some of the financial stuff if you are interested in building some financial models and you know uh, some predictive kind of model some forecasting kind of model then these kind of data is freely available you can use it right not for commercial purpose for learning purpose you can use it okay and uh, all these data is readily available many data sets can be here you can sort on most votes or updated or usability these kind of things right then comes the notebooks right so notebooks is nothing but since i am logged in from my account so my one notebook i had created before so that notebook is showing and some of the famous notebooks like previous notebooks are showing here which which i might have opened or some of the notebooks which has done well in the competition is showing up okay now how do you create your own notebook so you have to go here and say new notebook so this is a normal generic notebook right not not specific to any competition and you come here and say python uh, in which language you want to create your notebook either python or r so i am selecting python you want to uh, create a notebook or you want to create a script so you want to create a notebook say create okay so what will happen is in the background kaggle will create a notebook for you so it says you as you can see session is starting okay so it is creating a notebook for you in the background so now this looks very similar to your jupyter notebook right so just give here any name aman notebook let us say one right so this is the name of my notebook then i can very well write here my python codes right hello world i can very well write and execute it will get executed so in my system uh, draft session starting is one uh, it is hanging at this place for some reason but it should work for you fine okay this is one part of it other part of it some of you were asking how to enable gpu in kaggle right so you come here and say accelerator right in this accelerator you can click on this and select gpu so what will happen is for you a particular quota of gpu is given in background that will be enabled for you if you do this okay so as you can see here availability is limited to 38 hours this week quota resets weekly with a minimum 30 hours provided you have 35 hours remaining 
so normally 38 hours per week is the gpu quota for every user by default kaggle gives if i say turn on gpu it will turn on gpu since i am running another notebook so it is giving me some warning for you it will turn on okay now this is about how do you use gpu so gpu will uh, particularly be good for image processing and deep learning models okay another thing to remember here is since i have created one notebook where i am running the gpu so i must ensure that whenever i am not using it i should close it otherwise it will unnecessarily keep taking the gpu quota right so uh, if i come here and say notebook so there are two notebooks so stop interactive session so i have stopped the notebook which i created now and this this notebook also i should ensure that this is not running otherwise it will unnecessarily consume the gpu quota so as you can see gpu quota 30, 35 hours is remaining for me okay so that is about notebooks and how to use gpu then there is this discussion where you can discuss about various things there is kaggle forum uh, product feedback data sets q and a there are some of the courses also available which you can go through some python courses some intermediate machine learning data visualization so somebody who is very new right intro to sql advanced sql these kind of courses are given there are some job openings also as i told you so for example these are some of the jobs and there will be some requirements for these jobs so in these jobs also from the competition if you are doing good if you are in leaderboard you can apply for these jobs okay so as you can see this is the job position analyst in boston and then some of the look how do you apply you apply through this email id and then you can give your kaggle uh, leaderboard ranking or whatever you have done in kaggle and apart from kaggle also whatever you have done and you can apply for these jobs okay so this is at high level what all things in kaggle starting from home to how do you participate in competition to how to use the data to how to use gpu and notebook discussion courses all these things right and applying for job so let me know any doubts you have in kaggle how to use it how to work with it i'll come up with another interesting video till then all of you stay safe and take care